Hello, dear friends, fellow star seeds, light workers, way showers. I am Julie Joy of the Young Light Workers with a solstice message from Father Son as channeled by Don Phoenix. He begins, I bid you fond greetings, my children. I am your Father Son. Earth may be thought of as your mother, and I would be honored if you thought of me as humanity's father. Mother Gaia and I are counterparts, versions of the divine feminine and divine masculine. Since the dawn of time, she and I have practiced balance, symmetry in our relationship. We wish to be living examples of balance and harmony for our children. You, in your earliest examples, and this is in parentheses, in your limited human memories at least. So you young starseed, and he's addressing Dawn, ask if I have a message to share with humanity as you approach your summer solstice. Oh yes I do, be certain of that. And Dawn is speaking now, I can hear a full belly laugh filled with love and joy. I feel warmth wrap itself around me in a comforting way. There is a kind presence. Now that warmth is a golden light and it is wrapping itself around the earth. And Father Son is speaking again. Dearest children, life on Mother Gaia has been in upheaval for some time now and it may seem as though it keeps getting worse. You have a saying I would like to remind you of. It is always darkest before the dawn. And now with your solstice approaching, the dawning of a new humanity is imminent. For the next three days, your June 19th, 20th, and 21st, I will be sending out intense beams of light aimed at the hearts of humanity, as well as the heart of Mother Gaia herself so that she may support you as well. These beams of energy will dissolve the darkness that's held on for so long in the hearts of innumerable people. Be aware this may lead to even more chaos for a time as those who once served the darkness decide their fates. Accept the consequences of their actions on a physical and energetic level to then be transmuted into their highest version of the light, or attempt to resist the light, bringing only pain and anguish to themselves as they are still transmuted by the light. Some will be able to remain on the planet. Others will need to leave in order to fully complete the process. Either way, great change may come about suddenly as a result of these people's decisions. While these changes are for humanity's highest good, it may not appear so for some time. It is also possible these changes come about smoothly with only minimal amounts of chaos. Which experience would you like to explore? The choice is yours, each individual's to make. There is no right or wrong way to choose, simply two distinctly different paths Humanity will ascend to the fifth dimension, but you get to choose how you experience that shift. There are many other beings from distant star systems and higher dimensions supporting humanity at this time. They, too, are sending support and healing during the solstice. Think of me as a magnifying glass, gathering all of their energies and concentrating them into one powerful beam aimed at your beautiful hearts. This is a unique event in human evolution and in mine as well. Never before have so many joined forces to help one people. Multitudes of physical and non-physical beings are gathered together to blend their energies with mine and have been for quite some time. Rest assured you are loved and supported by your mother Gaia, myself, and your galactic family. 
No matter the results of the changes about to occur, understand it was always meant to be and could not have happened any other way. These are the last few hurdles to clear before those who choose to will move beyond the reach of the darkness. Whole life may never be without conflict there on Gaia. What will change is how humanity responds to it. Balance and harmony will prevail over anger and hostility. Never again will life return to what it was. Remember, my children, balance and harmony are the offspring of love, and you all carry enough love within you to permanently alter the genetic blueprint of the human consciousness and obliterate any former programming. Those on the side of darkness may have inserted recently or at any time in the past. Love is your tool and your greatest weapon. Think of your mother Gaia and myself and all of the beautiful creations we have made together, working together in harmony. All is love. So as you bask amidst the potent solstice energy showering down upon you, open your hearts to receive the gifts that have always been yours for the taking. Use them wisely and send gratitude to your galactic family for what they bestow upon you. As you receive these energies, intend to use them to restore the balance and harmony both on your world and within yourselves. If you do this, the changes about to take place will be much less severe and much more joyful. You can do this, my children. You are so deeply loved. Feel the support in the energies you are receiving. You are not alone. I am your father, son, and I love you beyond measure. This was channeled by Dawn Phoenix. Her website is dawnslighthouse.com. I'll include the link below. She is a clinical hypnotherapist, certified animal communicator, and she's really good at that. I know from personal experience, as well as a dolphin energy healing practitioner. If you have any questions about yourself or your animals, don't hesitate to call her. The script to this is probably too long to post below. I will submit it to the Sananda website as well as voyagesoflight.blogspot.com. I am Julie Joy of the Young Light Workers, and this was an amazing, wonderful, practical message from Father Son during this powerful solstice experience. Thank you so much for listening.